Okay, so I have three plates now. I'm polishing them, but I'm using the Whitworth free plate technique to get to precision flatness. So you can notice the uh, sort of a well, I'm getting the wet look, so it's getting to a really high polish. And but um, let me clear this dust because it, even that little what a dusty environment here and it will affect it. But um, the one of the weird things about once you get this precision levels of flatness, the floating effect. And because, uh, well, there's, um, well, the, the, the overall flatness of it, also the smoothness, um, it, so it's reducing the friction uh, for one thing, but um, there were some in the comments of previous videos, and this was a discussion on uh, what, what exactly is causing it. And I lent towards the uh, air cushion effect, like a um, air hockey table. But, and I have, well, I'm pretty confident that that's what it is. So I looked into a few papers and uh, Bernoulli, such as uh, Bernoulli Levitation, it was also another one where he was talking about, you know, because he's uh, famous for studying air effects. And, um, well, this is why I think it's an, there's an air effect going in. There's an air cushion cord under there because if I push down and sort of squeeze out most of that air, I can now pick up the plate okay but it, it's you now it's so I can well actually might be a combination I'm leaning more towards the air effect but so I can get it to stick it's still like it's floating even underneath there so it's you know, probably a combination of other factors as well but definitely the air effect um, has an it because it's if it was an electric effect, that's repel they, they should be repelling one another. You would not be able to pick it up. So I think you can discount that one. And uh, that combination now of the sort of the air, air cushion happening and, and the reduction of friction. But a bit like when the um, optical bonding, so I'm squeezing the air out. Let's see if I can get it enough and sort of keep it. So it's still fl floating. Like I'm not balancing it well enough to probably display what I mean. But I can, yeah, once I lean it over to one side, the weight sort of keeps it going. So I'll try to get it and keep it balanced. And But I don't want it. So, yeah, so I, I would, uh, I have seen, uh, studies, uh, some published papers talking about the research by Bernoulli and they mention this surface plate effect and so it's a weird thing we have a suction cap but it's also like on a frictionless bearing as well in that it will so okay so the question could be it's, just, it's floating on on top and so you know if it was an electric effect that would be that the two plates are repelling one another. Uh, then they shouldn't be sticking. Well, actually, it could be a combination. That's like really way out of my pay grade. But um, rather than just the floating on the table, it's also we, we do have this uh, sort of like optical bond bonding effect. I'm going to get it just right. Find that sweet spot. This one's really I'm probably getting a bit too much dust started to settle. But yeah, so I can use that lifting effect and that would eliminate the, that the plates are floating because they're repelling one another. So it definitely has to be a, a component to this um, air cushion effect, especially when I push down, just like when they bond your yeah, optical lenses, you squeeze out that air and they stick. While I was um, grinding them, they are, um, and there's a bit of water underneath there. The bot, the suction cap is just incredibly strong. I ended up smashing it with with a wooden mallet to try and take it off, and it ended up breaking the corners of the stone. That was how much force I needed to, to do to get it off. So I have to give them a good clean again. But yeah, there is definitely uh, the air effect is. One of the big factors that's going on um, 
in this thing because it's not just about floating on top it's I can again like sort of squeeze it down and lift, lift them up let me try on this one maybe it's a bit I can feel the dust Okay, just a demo. So yeah, there's definitely, um, I would, it, it might be happening on some sort of level where they're repelling one another and that's what allows it to float. But uh, it's the air effect that would be the uh, stronger factor or the most important one. And there are some papers published um, uh, on that where they do, so we're talking about the yeah, Bernoulli Bernoulli levitation and some of these other weird air effects that uh, happen. So it's just a cool thing with these uh, surface plates. Yeah, so I'm getting, it's, I can lift it up and it's still sort of floating as well. I can't really, but I, again, out of my pay grade, but just a, might be of interest to some. I don't want it going flying off the table and breaking, so. So I can do a sort of like reverse air levitation floating thing. No, can't do it. When I was playing without holding a camera in one hand, it was a bit easier, but it's, they are a very, very fun toy. Anyway, that's it. Have a good one. There we go.